Dress for skiing. Dress for success, certainly applies here if you want a happy, comfortable, and warm family vacation. Skiing holidays are such fun and can be the perfect holiday for all the family to enjoy. But without the right clothing, the perfect holiday can turn into a cold, miserable fiasco. Plus weather can vary so much in the mountains and a hot spring skiing day can turn into a nasty storm very quickly. Make sure you and your family are prepared for all eventualities to keep your holiday enjoyable and to keep everyone safe. Nobody wants frostbite or hypothermia. Here's what to wear when skiing, layers of clothing are best. They can be added and removed in order to better regulate your body temperature, as weather conditions change throughout the day. Extra layers can be stuffed in coat pockets ready for when it gets really cold. Base layers, long underwear, preferably. Polyester or wool slash poly blend are perfect for wearing next to your skin. There are some pretty stylish brands nowadays of thermal pants and long sleeve tops. Then layer on a turtleneck or long sleeve shirt. Then sweater, fleece, or sweatshirt. Outer layers, your ski jacket and salopettes should be warm, water resistant and comfortable. Don't buy one that's too tight, you need to make sure you have lots of room to put layers on underneath and have plenty of movement so you can ski your best. Socks Wear thin wool or poly socks for skiing or snowboarding, thick ones are too bulky, and don't keep your feet as warm. Smart wool has a great selection nowadays of warm, but not itchy socks to keep your toes toasty. Gloves or mittens Obviously gloves or mittens are a must. Mittens are warmer if you tend to get cold hands, but you can get mittens with finger section inside if you have trouble holding onto your ski poles with mittens. Also hand warmers are widely available. Resembling packets of sugar, you shake them to release the warmth and then put them inside your gloves or mittens to keep you warm. Some gloves even have pockets specially made for these hand warmers. Neck gaiters and face masks. Neck gaiters are more functional than scarves when it comes to keeping your neck warm. Scarves can easily unravel when you're traveling fast and can get caught in the lifts. Neck gaiters are also great for pulling up and keeping your mouth and nose warm if it's particularly chilly or windy. Face masks are usually made of neoprene and can help cover every remaining inch of your face whilst allowing you to breathe. Perfect for those perishing days. Headgear, 80% of heat is lost though your head. You lose so much heat through your head that a good hat is essential. 
The hat should cover your ears and stay on your head easily during physical activity. Helmets are even warmer and safer, and you can often get removable ear pieces for occasions when you get too warm. Goggles and sunglasses Ultraviolet radiation is 36% higher at high altitude than at sea level. Plus, the sun reflects off the snow and can be harsh. You must wear good eye protection, goggles, or sunglasses, as snow blindness is not fun or pretty and can cause permanent damage. Follow these simple steps for a warm and wonderful ski holiday. Keep warm in Winter Park, Colorado, USA in Helen's Luxury Catered Ski Chalet HTTP colon slash slash www.chalets-usa.co.uk